Welcome to the IEEE Explore Digital Library, brought to you by the Egyptian Knowledge Bank and IEEE Client Services. IEEE is the world's largest technical membership association with more than 420,000 members around the world. We're a not-for-profit organization and our mission is advancing technology for humanity. We are a membership association, a conferences organizer, we develop industry standards, and we publish journals, conferences, standards, ebooks, and e-learning. IEEE Explore is the digital library platform that delivers our content. We have about 4 or 5 million total documents on the database, 12 million downloads per month, and over 5 million unique users around the world. We look at the journal citation reports, which are published every year, to see how we are doing in our subject specialties. And as you see here, we have the number one journals in a variety of technology subject areas. Artificial intelligence, automation and control, computer hardware, electrical engineering, of course, imaging science, information systems, remote sensing, telecom, etc. And we continue to add new journals into the subscriptions and into the IEEE Explore database. In 2020, these titles will be coming to Explore and will be accessible via your EKB subscription. The IEEE Journal of Emerging and Selected Topics in Industrial and Electronics, the IEEE Journal on Selected Areas in Information Theory, and our Transactions on Technology and Society. Last year, we added four new titles, Networking Letters, Air and Space Systems, Biometrics, Behavior and Identity Science, and a journal on electromagnetic compatibility practice and applications. These are available now through your EKB subscription on IEEE Explore. In 2018, we added six titles. So if you haven't been visiting IEEE Explore, please do have a look and see some of these new titles uh, as they are added onto the site and part of your subscription. We stay current and you can stay current with us. The technology landscape is constantly evolving and so are our publications. As we introduce new publications, they come out of a growing need for information in new areas such as IoT, blockchain, big data, machine learning, renewable energy, etc. Coverage of all these technologies can be found in our publications. A little bit about the content available on IEEE Explore, courtesy of the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. Your IEEE access via EKB, your users will stay up to date with all the latest emerging trends in technology with online access to IEEE journals and magazines via IEEE Explore. Currently about 180 IEEE journals published from 2010 to present day and that content is updated weekly. In addition to the latest research, EKB users also have access to the IEEE Conference Archive, where you can take a look back at the seminal archival papers from our conferences. The subscription includes IEEE conferences from 1951 to 2009, which is almost 480,000 papers from over 3,700 conferences. Now let's go on to IEEE Explore and I'll show you how to find your content available from your EKB subscription. The basic search box is found on nearly every page in Explore. When entering keywords or concepts into the box, you should know that the search engine will automatically search the metadata for all documents in the database. Metadata includes fields such as document title, abstract, index terms, author names, etc. So when you enter a string of words like wind energy, the search engine will find papers who match all of the words, but they won't necessarily be in a phrase. You can use quotation marks to force an exact match. If you'd like to use an operator, you can do it right there in the global search box, but they must all be in capital letters. If you don't add any operators, the search engine assumes an AND between your words. 
So for wind energy, I got just over 15,000 results. I'd like to filter my set. So I'll add an additional term within the search within results box and add internet of things. I'll use the quotation marks again. On the search results page, you'll notice the green open lock icon indicates full text access through your EKB subscription. To only view papers that you have full access to, click on the My Subscribed Content in the yellow box to the left of your results list. To view the full text, just click HTML or PDF. HTML includes some useful features like enlargeable graphics, citation links, MathJax, MathML, usage metrics, and citation counts. To view other papers that have cited this one, click on Citations in the left navigation bar, and here you can see IEEE and other publishers' citations. After completing a successful search, you can save your search. That's probably the best way to keep current in your field of research. To enable, sign up for a free personal account. Click on Create an account if you don't have one. With a personal account, you can create up to 15 search alerts. Click on Set Search Alerts, name your alert, Wind Energy IoT, save, and now I will get an email every time there's a new result that matches my search. Remember that you can resort your results. The default is by relevance, but if you'd like to see the most cited by papers or patents, you can do that here. You can also sort your results to how many times the paper has been viewed on IEEE Explore. You'll notice if I sort by most cited by papers, I can quickly see how often these papers have been cited by others. There's a few other things that you can do on the search results page. Let's remove our filter here and get to a large result set. First thing, you can download up to 10 PDFs at the same time. You just click on the check mark boxes to the left of the articles that you'd like and then click on download PDFs and you'll get a zip file with all of the articles you're interested in. You can also export your search results, uh, citations into citation management software such as RefWorks or BibTeX or RIS files, uh, or you can actually download up to 2,000 results directly into a CSV file which can be used by Excel. I mentioned the set search alerts. There's also a search history that you can turn on with a personal account. But over on the left hand side, I just want to point out a few of the facets that might be useful to you. You can use the slider to uh, limit your search by year. You can also see the top authors for your search. The affiliation field can also be viewed here. So you can see some of the affiliations of the authors that are, that are publishing these papers publication title, publisher, etc. I like the index terms as well. These are the index terms from InSpec. These can be very helpful for you to use for future searching. They'll give you the correct phrase to search using the thesaurus of InSpec. So this can be very useful if you're having trouble finding the articles that you're expecting to see. Thank you for your time. To stay informed on IEEE, you can go directly to our training information by going to the training URL shown on the screen. You'll find training videos, help files, FAQs, and everything you need to know about accessing your subscription through IEEE Explore. You can also follow IEEE Explore on Facebook and Twitter and read the monthly IEEE Explore newsletter. If you're not receiving that newsletter, you can email online support at IEEE.org directly. Thank you to EKB for making this possible and thank you for watching.